welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. Last time we <laughs> bashed our head against uh, Artorius until finally being saved by somebody. <laughs> that was a uh, interesting time, and I got the gold tracer, which I'm looking forward to using. Also, since we're human, we're going to have to deal with uh, certain things. And... Oh. Also, still using that shield. We need to swap shields. Oh, come on. Okay, let's switch back to the grass crest. Gotta check the stats on that, too. 130 plus 94. And 100 critical damage, so I lose out on the backstab bonus that the uh, bandit's knife had. I wasn't trying to actually switch. 112 plus 73 versus... 130 plus 94. More damage. Which, once I upgrade it, will be better. But yeah, I'm losing out on that extra percentage backstab bonus stuff. Can y'all get up here? Oh, yes you can. Oh, crud. That's, that, that's not good for me. So I'm going this way. <laughs> Enjoy Chaos Fireball! I'm gonna check something. Since this is technically a dagger, oof. hundred and sixty critical damage. <laughs> Could be fun, we'll see. Ah. Oh! Now that was cool. It's R2 as a guaranteed bleed. Ow. Will you quit swinging faster than me? <laughs> I'm used to the dagger. Hey! Not 100% sure where you came from. And why you're dragging your friend along for the ride. This is where Dark Souls 2, having the uh, three weapon slots is really nice. Eh, I'll play with it later. I was thinking about having it where I could swap between, swap between gold and silver tracers. But, uh, you know, then I wouldn't have a pyromancy. Also, be careful, there's a lot of ledges, some of which are hard to see until it's too late. This will be a shortcut later. And now we've attracted their attention. Why are there two of you? Fireball! Oh, fireball to the face. Oh, they just have low bleed resistance. Two hits bled him. Tempted to use that. Yeah, well, let's try it. I have a reason. Okay, and it's got a stab. It's like forward lunging stab. Chester, where are you? Okay, yeah, there's that guy. I'm messing with you yet. I hear you laughing at me. Hoping to backstab, but eh. Ho! Oh. Yeah, I get it. You're down there. <sighs> Hello. 
waiting for that. Uh, heard footsteps. I wanted to make sure it wasn't a. It's using what will become in Dark Souls 2 hexes, which do a boatload of stamina damage. There's one in this corner, napping. I got a lot of souls car carried with me is one reason I'm being a little bit nervous. I think it's here. Maybe down those stairs. There's a point where uh, a certain friend will decide to make himself known. And there's also a room down here I can't expose without a uh, certain item. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's right. You don't have a. Uh, you don't have a kick attack with this, you get the, uh... What are you hanging on? He's just chilling. Just chilling down there. Um, you do a slash backflip. Gonna end up going off a ledge by doing that by accident, trying to kick somebody, I just know it. I unequipped the bow earlier. I'm buying the bottomless box, by the way, because this is becoming an issue. Boop. That's a mimic down there, by the way. I remember. Things. All the things. I don't know what just happened, but that was so cool. I'm gonna miss my backstab bonus. Okay, Chester, now it's your turn. Which, now that he's invaded, I won't be able to buy stuff from him anymore. I'm sorry, but that was way too funny. What's with the leg sweep? I'm, I'm not really sure. He's clearly come from the future of Bloodborne. Hey. Hey. None of that. None of that. Ooh, a large time action. That reminds me, there's actually something I need to do in town. But now that Chester's dealt with, I don't have to worry about maintaining my human state, so... I just wanted to deal with that. Ah! Foreshadowing. I'm gonna run off of that at some point. I just know it. I ran off of the other one. That piece of footage didn't end up making it into the Artorias montage, but I did run off the shortcut elevator and die. Kindled. Nope, it is not. I'm gonna kindle this one while I'm while I'm here and has you know the human state. Because this is a bonfire we're gonna be using a lot. Are you gonna kindle? Did you freeze? Eh? Okay. Suddenly it gives us 99 Estus would have been really weird. Um, yes, fire links where I need to go. And since I'm warping there, it'd be kind of silly to jump cut. And because I'm going somewhere new, so, eh. 
I'll have to homeward bone back though because I haven't fixed the uh, the firekeeper. I, I will get to that. It's just not yet. You have to fight like three people. One of which you can cheese using poison arrows. Done it before. Come here, Goober. Oh, I can one-shot you? Okay. That makes this much easier. Boop. I love that. The overkill damage. You get extra souls if you do more than, I think, 150% of their health in one hit. You can tell because the uh, the soul draining sound lasts longer. I know I've mentioned this in a previous episode, but now you got a good example of it. Okay, I gotta go. I just saw the body fall flying off the cliff. That stumped me for stunned me for a second. Okay, fun part. I have to make this jump. Mm. Now I have to do this without falling off. Dom Hog! And a ring of sacrifice. Hi, Shemai. I didn't expect to meet anybody here. I suppose great minds think alike, eh? <laughs> but you're a merchant! Why did you come here if you didn't think you'd see anybody? That is not sound business strategy, my friend. At first, I didn't know I could buy that from him, but yes. I've already got the master keys. I didn't remember it was that expensive. This is going to take a while to save up for. Ow. Thank you. That was a fine trade. I have this funny feeling we'll meet again soon. And we'll make another fine trade, of course. Oh, that's going to be so expensive. And yes, I know it's, I think, heavier than what I've got, but must Tiny feet bother me, though. Like, I have seen other people use this armor set in, like, on videos and stuff, and they don't have the tiny feet. Why am I plagued by tiny feet? Woo! Tiny feet! That just looks so funny. Um, anyway, before I lose my train of thought again and wander off a nearby cliff, we need to homeward bone, use the bottomless box to put some things in the bottomless box. Quite a lot of things are going in the box. It adds a thing to the menu. Weapons. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this with that. Okay. It won't let you put something you have equipped in there. I'm going to keep certain things out, but aside from that... It makes getting through your uh, equipment menu so much easier. Oh, 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 keep the heater shield, keep the spider shield. There are certain times when the... Uh... uh Poison resistance comes in handy. Actually, no, I'm going to keep the armor. You never know. Sometimes. Okay, I'll put certain things up, like the guardian armor. Gargoyle helmet, fang bar, fang bar. Stuff that's too heavy for me to go wearing. Hollow Thief's Tides? I don't remember that. Oh, black iron. Way too heavy for me. I'm not a sorcerer, but there are times when having the resistances can be nice.
you know, I'm gonna ignore this, the asymmetry there and just move forward. Okay, there we go. Next is the boss souls. You don't want to accidentally use those. The rubbish. Coins. Okay. I picked the worst piece to, of starting armor for that. On my strength build, what I normally do is I use Havel's feet, Havel's gloves, and then Artorius's chest and head. I think it looks really nice, uh, but since I'm not running a strength build, I'm probably not going to be doing Havel's. There's just something about the uh, the Havel's gloves and the chains wrapped around it, and they look, just look really nice with the armor set. And they have good stats, I mean, I'm not just wearing it because it looks cool. But uh, if you go up here and not off that cliff, it's a thing. I don't have the key for the thing. Dang it! I forgot where the key is. Oh, no. Is that where the key is? I don't remember. Okay, I stand corrected. We're not meeting him today. Hmm. Well, I guess the last thing we're probably going to do is go to Andre and find out what all's involved in upgrading my new stirfs. Nice thing they added in Dark Souls 2, uh, a lot more warpable bonfires for one thing, but the menu shows you an image of the location you'll be warping to, which makes it really nice for remembering. In my first playthrough, it took me forever to, uh, there's a, a few that confused me. They had similar names. Well, hello. You need anything? You wonder why I turn away from NPCs when I'm do going through the menu? It's just in case I derp and I accidentally swing my weapon. I don't want to accidentally hit Andre. You don't want to make Andre mad. Not if you can help it. I'm really tempted to upgrade that. Uh, that's going to get expensive quick, too. Hmm. Hmm. I'll be seeing, Beak. Hmm. Does I have swords? Brave warrior soul. Do not use the firekeeper soul. That's a quick way to really well, miss it. You need it. On the one hand, gold tracer does more damage and bleed. On the other hand, silver tracer actually has a backstab bonus. A very big one at that. Some enemies are backstabbable, some enemies aren't. I'm gonna go with the gold. And I need three more Twinkling Titanites to get to the Gold Tracer 5. Go get yourself, Knight. <laughs> Okay, you've got to admit that's pretty awesome. You just keep tapping R2. Five hit combo, and I'm not going to suicide. So, I'm going to warp back to Ulaseel and pause there, most likely. I'm actually going to. I could have checked it when I got there. Why? That is not what I meant to do. 17 out of 68. Yeah, I'm a little over 25% now. The uh, Artorius armor and having the bow equipped again adds 0.5. 25% uh, and below encumbrance gives you a fast roll, which is what I was using for the Artorius fight. I'm going to go ahead and pause here, and I will see you next time.